Well, good morning, everyone. Craig back at you on the 2018 Honda Goldwing out and about, just enjoying the day. Had a thought that came to mind. It really came to mind under as as, re, as in regards to a comment that was posted in one of the videos that I did. Recently, I went to Port Dover, Ontario for the Friday the 13th bike rally. And one of the commenters, and I apologize, I don't remember your name, but um, you know, I, I would have I would have mentioned if I remember the name. But one of the commenters asked me about, in sum and substance, you know, I'm just paraphrasing, about minority representation at this event. Because when you look at the video, you know, you look at my video, um, or you look at any Friday the 13th video in Port Dover for this bike rally, you don't see many people of color there. And, you know, I responded in the comments that it was probably a dozen, um, you know, black people that I saw at this event amongst the thousands of people. Now, I was only there for maybe three hours, so it wasn't like I was there the entire day. And it kind of led to the questions when it comes down to bike rallies and bike nights and cruise nights and, and things like that. Are these events that are thrown, are they segregated? You know, is there, you know, uh, is, is Harley Week in, in Myrtle Beach, you know, predominantly for Caucasians? Is Black Bike Week, you know, no pun intended, Black Bike Week in Myrtle Beach, which I think is about a week or two after that, is that probably predominantly for African Americans? And here's kind of my take on it and how I look at things. One of the things I always do, uh, because it's just a, by my nature, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a black man, and so when I'm looking and I'm researching about going to some of these bike rallies or bike events, I look online at YouTube. YouTube's a great resource, and I look at previous videos that people have put up that have attended these, these rallies that I have never been to. And I, and I would not be honest if I don't look at it and say, okay, are there any black people that attend this event? And, you know, I always look at it to try to get a feeling for the event. Now, I will never refrain from going to a rally or a bike night or anything based off of, well, I didn't see any black people there in these videos. And I don't think that's fair to the organizers. I don't think that's fair to the people that attend. So what I do is I go. So Friday the 13th, you know, I went. I can say I, I looked at maybe a dozen videos before I went to this event and saw maybe a handful of African Americans out of all the videos I went to. But that doesn't stop me from going because why am I going to a Friday the 13th bike rally? I'm going to the, the rally for the bikes. You know, I like to meet some people. I like to, you know, associate with people and make friends and, and have new contacts. But ultimately, I'm going to see the bikes. I'm going to see, you know, what people have done. It's like artwork. Bikes are like artwork. You're going to see pieces of art. And so that's why I go. Now, if I get to the event and there's something that makes me feel like I am not wanted or I shouldn't be there or why are you here, then I follow that in the back of my mind. I go, okay, I probably will not attend this event ever again because it's not what it was billed at. Built, build as. Is that right? Yeah, it's not what it was billed as. It wasn't billed as uh, a bike night. It's, it, 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 what it ended up being was a selective small group of people um, that, you know, that, that want to be with each other and they don't want people that are not of their kind or like-minded to be there. So then I just don't go, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that anymore, but I would never ever. And I would say to anyone, I would never ever, you know, allow, uh, just outside perceptions of what might, uh, what might happen at an event prevents you from going to that event, you know, and there's always exceptions. Like if it's, you know, if you're looking at events and there's always fights and stuff like that and, and it's always rowdy, okay, then that, you know, makes sense that you would want to go. But absent of that, you know, go and judge for yourself. So what I said in the video was I told them, and then my response was, I went, it was great. You know, it was great at the, at the Friday the 13th rally. Everyone was very nice. Everyone was very friendly. You know, it was, it was, it, I really had a good time. Now I was, again, I was only there about three hours. And so I can't speak to what happened later in the day or anything like that. I can't even speak to what happened to other people. You know, other people might have went and had a horrible time, but I only can speak to myself and, and how I was treated. Um, so, you know, based off of what, I, what I've seen, would I go back? Absolutely, I would go back. Now, Friday 13th rally, I'm not going back in December because it's too cold. Um, but when they have it again in a warmer month, I'd go back there. Uh, so it's one of those things I always give, you know, you, you have to give people a chance um, to show you that they're genuine 
And then if they show you that they're not genuine, then you know what decisions to make based off of that. And it really is, now, you know, I talk, you know, you know, based off of race because that pertains to me, but it's the same arguments for gender. You know, a lot of these rallies, I will say they have females, but I, I would suppose that female riders, they look at videos and they, if they're going to go to an event, they see how many people in these videos, how many females are riding. Are females in attendance, but how many female riders are there? You know, and if they ride, are they going to feel comfortable, you know, being there um, as a rider? It's just natural that you want to go somewhere and, uh, and you want to feel comfortable. You know, one of the events that I attended, it was a, it was a bike night. It was actually up here toward where I live, and I had looked at a couple videos. There weren't a lot of them. And I saw no minority representation at any of these events. But I went. So, again, and the reason I went was it looks like it had a good turnout. They always have a good turnout every year. In fact, it was an annual thing. which was an annual uh, uh, bike night. They have a good turnout every year. So I said, I'm going to go. I go. I pull in the parking lot. Um, as soon as I park my bike, a guy walks up to me and he says, uh, walks over directly over to me. Looks at me and he says, great bike. What is that? And then from there, the conversation was just good. And other people came up and were asking me about my bike. And I was asking them about their, their bikes. That's what bike nights, bike rallies are supposed to be about. It's supposed to be all about the bikes. Um, and if it's not, uh, then it's not somewhere that you, you, know, you want to be. You know? and, but there will always be. The great thing about it is, in my experience, it's few and far between that you, know, you feel you go somewhere along you know the biker community and uh you feel uncomfortable so so i just wanted to bring you know that up because i know it does come into play it really does and i think if if, if we if if we acted like it didn't you know then we're just deceiving ourselves you know i want to go to sturgis i look at videos of sturgis all the time i see some black people I don't see a lot of black people. Is that going to deter me from, uh, from going to Sturgis? No, I'm going to go. If I don't have a good time, if I don't feel like I'm welcome, if I don't feel like people are receptive to me based off of, uh, you know, the pigmentation of my skin, then I will, I'll go somewhere else. Now, there is a sub-argument that people um, will make um, that is, I'll, I'll say it's not as valid. I understand what they're saying, but it's not as valid. What some people will say is, you know, I can go to Sturgis and I get, you know, people look at me funny because I'm, I'm riding a sport bike. You know, it has nothing to do with race, it has nothing to do with gender. It has, to, you know, people look at me funny because I'm on a sport bike and I go to Sturgis and all they have is Harleys. Or I go to Sturgis, or I'm, I'm using Sturgis as an example, but any bike rally, bike night that might be in your area. And, you know, I go and I'm riding a Yamaha instead of a Harley. And people look at me funny or they don't, you know... Um, you know, they're not as, as friendly or I'm riding down the road and because I don't have a Harley. I don't get the two finger wave, you know, so I know exactly what you're saying. And, and, and so, you know, it, people can act funny no matter. It's, it's more than race. It's more than gender. You know, people can act funny just based off the type of bike you ride. That is true, but it's not as serious and it's not in the same level as it comes to race and gender, because the things that people act funny about about your sport bike, you can change. You can all of a sudden, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get a Harley. Now I'm going to Sturgis and I fit in just like everybody else. Oh, you got a Harley? Oh, you're part of the club. You've got a Harley. You don't have that sport bike. Or you trade that Yamaha in for a Harley and you go to Sturgis. And now you're part of the club. The thing for, I think, for uh, people of color and for, for women is that the thing that might make you feel uncomfortable or you don't want us around is not anything we can change. We can't just go to a dealership and buy a different bike, get the cruiser instead of the sport bike, get the tour instead of the cruiser, and now we fit in. It doesn't make a difference what bike we have. If people don't want us there or people are, you know, are going to be prejudiced against you because of uh, your race or because of your gender, you can't make a change to that to fit in nor do we want to make a change to fit in but it's something that we always have to think about because then it really for us it makes it is this bike event really about the bikes or really about the fact that i don't fit into a certain demographic and that's the only people you're really trying to attract to this bike event so 
Again, not to get too deep, but I figure I should try to share everything that's on my mind and share things that come up. Um, again, you know, everybody's different. You've got to make choices that are comfortable for you. Um, for me, you know, I'm going to hang out with you until you give me a reason not to hang out with you. I'm going to go to your event until I have a reason not to go to your event. And uh, so that's kind of kind of my take on it. So everyone, have a great day. I hope you're, uh, you're enjoying uh, yourself and these waning a uh, few months of warmness that we have here in the Northeast. If you like this video, if you uh, if uh, you like the channel, I would just ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you don't like the video, you don't like the channel, I would still say subscribe to the channel because then you can look and write comments and say, this guy has no idea what he's talking about, but you'll be able to see the videos I put up and then you can complain about how I'm a complete idiot and I have no clue what life is about. So, but anyway, enjoy your day uh, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Take care.